Hey, good morning, everybody. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the shakers for the inside of your rattle. Um, they're really easy to do, but there are some things that you wanna make sure you do correctly to make it have the best sound possible. So I've already got um, a few examples to show you. So a shaker is basically just the little rattle that goes inside your rattle, right? It's the little part that makes the noise. So when I have students create these, I want them to be about a pea size, like, or a BB size. So about this big. If you make them too much bigger than that, then instead of making a nice tinkle, 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 it makes a ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. And if you make them too small, then it really doesn't sound like anything. So you wanna try to make sure you get the right size. The other thing is we are going to be continuing to work on these even after we've already um, added the shakers in. So that's what this paper is for. This paper is to kind of protect the shaker because once it starts to dry out, um, if you're working on your project and rotating it and moving it, all these little dry pieces are gonna be whacking up against each other and they're gonna break. And we don't want them to break because then we'd have little teeny pieces and it wouldn't sound like anything. So here's what we wanna ultimately end up with. We want about a pea or a BB size little ball and we want it to be wrapped in a little bit of tissue paper. Now this one right here, that's way too much tissue paper because this is going to have to burn out in the kiln. And if your whole project is filled with this much tissue paper, it's more likely that your project's going to crack or that it's going to mess up the kiln and nobody wants that. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take a little bit of tissue paper. You're going to break off just a little square, just going to tear it off. It doesn't even have to be perfect. Then you're gonna take some of the little extra clay that you have at your desk. You're gonna roll it into you know, a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna set it inside the tissue paper and then you're gonna wrap the tissue paper around and you're gonna twist it up so it looks like one of those little snap pops from you know, 4th of July that you hit on the ground. That's what you want it to look like. So just a little teeny bit of a tail wrapped all the way around. So now for your shakers, you're gonna wanna make enough of these that it fills half of your um, pinch pots. Because remember, you gotta add these in before you put the pinch pots together, okay? So you wanna fill that space um, or at least have 50. So now I ha it doesn't matter what color the tissue paper is. Some of these were made by leftover from students in previous years but this is what you want it to look like. So you're gonna make at least 50 of these, which I know sounds like a lot, but really, how long did it take me to make that? Like three seconds? Mm. So even three seconds times 50 is still under five minutes, right? So you wanna fill enough where it fills a full side of your rattle. You don't wanna stuff both sides of your rattle because if there's too many beads in there, then they don't really have enough room to shake around and it won't sound nice, okay? So you wanna fill half of it and that's when you'll end up slipping and scoring your other side on. All right, thanks everybody.